Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to see some ways that we can keep hope alive when times are hard. Our first card is Meditation, Six of Air. Our second card is Major 19, Expansion. Our third card is Eight of Water, Synthesis. Our fourth card is Major Zero, Simplicity. And our fifth card is Nurture of Bridges, Collaborate. Okay, so keeping hope alive when times are hard. We begin with meditation. And this says simply, take a break from thinking about it sometimes. Pause, still your mind, breathe a little bit. Nobody can go through a difficult time if they're always on task with it. It's important to take a break. Along with meditation, we have expansion. Now expansion means that you're getting out there into the world in a bigger way than what you've done before. So instead of pulling in and hunkering down when things are hard, get bigger, move out there, experience your personal power in the ways that are available to you. And then we have Eight of Water, Synthesis. And Synthesis says, take it all in, integrate it. Don't let the difficulties be something that you shove away and that become foreign to you. All that does is it locks part of your life away from your access. Instead, bring them in, integrate them, recognize that you're in this situation and you can deal with it. After synthesizing, go to simplicity. Don't make it any more complicated than it is. What do you know that you know? Stay right there, stay on point with that, and as you know more, deal with the more that you know. Also, give yourself a little bit of time, again, to just be in the simplicity of life. Do ordinary things. Wash your dishes, pet your cat, do things that are comforting and easy. And collaborate with other people. When times are hard, it is not a time for us to try and completely go, go it on our own. Typically, if something's difficult in your life, if something's difficult culturally, there are people around you who are experiencing the same thing. Get together with those people and approach the situation as allies, as friends, as co-workers with it. So another thing I want to point out is that we have thought, emotion, action and spirit as our dominant colors with this. So when you're in a tough time, hope stays alive best if you combine your thinking, your emotions, your spirit, and your willingness to act. In summary, take a break, still your mind for a little while. Get out there into the world in a bigger way instead of making yourself small. Breathe in and take in whatever the difficulty is. Trying to shove it away won't resolve it. Keep things as simple as possible and work together with other people so that in your combined strength you can find your way through this. Have a wonderful, hopeful week this week and carry this with you into any difficult situations you have.